Hello, Sam. My name is Devin Norton. I'm from SEO Dallas, Texas, and I spoke to Susan earlier today, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I'm going to really briefly show you three easy ways you can improve your website so you can start bringing in more customers. If you're wondering why I'm even making this video for you, it's really simple. There's a lot of small business owners out there that are spending all their time running their business, taking care of their customers. They typically don't have the time to learn how to make the internet work for them and bring in more of those customers. And typically the only thing holding them back from hiring a marketing agency is they don't know who is an expert and who's not. So I found that by making these attack plans and giving them away for free, a lot of these business owners still end up calling me back going, you know what, Devin, I like you. Just take care of all the stuff for me. So by the end of this all, you see I've got some tricks in my sleeve and I can do some real good for your business. Just give me a call and we can chat. If you want to take this free information and apply it yourself, that's okay too. This is free education. I'm going to briefly show you how to make your website more of an authority, how to make it more trustworthy, and then how to get ranked on your local map pack rankings. But let's start by looking at your website. First off, uh, this is a great looking website. I love this photo right here. It takes up the entire screen. It shows exactly who you guys are. It looks like a family based company. Nice logo up here. Texas family owned business. It's awesome. Um, it's a great looking website for sure. Now, Google doesn't rank you based off of how good looking your website is. What they do is they break your website down into a text file and they send their robots through it to look for keywords. And keywords are phrases that people search into Google to find your business. So like one of the ones that you're ranking for right now is Plumbing San Antonio. You're on the third page for that, I believe. Um, a lot of people search for that about 200 people a month for that one keyword. So you're going to want to have that keyword within your text. So let's see plumbing San Antonio. So you don't have that directly anywhere, but you are trying to rank for it. So I would make sure you have that in your content. Now, when somebody types in plumbing San Antonio, Google's goal is to put them in front of the website that's going to answer all their questions, which is the website that has the most content or the most words on it. So the average website on the front page of Google right now has 1,890 words. So what that translates for you is you're going to want to have about 1,500 to 2,000 words on your front page that's stuffed with all those keywords. Make sure that Google picks you up for those keywords. All right. Um, also, whatever image they're saved as does count as content. So you can also save these as different keywords like San Antonio plumbers, plumbers in San Antonio TX, etc., etc. If you look at your main competitor, you have AA, A and A plumbing right here, all right? And you can see they got a decent looking website too. Um, they got a little bit more text than you, but they're still not the 1500 word marks. So you're gonna blow them out of the water with that 1500 word mark. And if you go to see what their images are saved as. They're not even saved properly, so you can really e easily beat them with content and with images. So that's step one. Now, after you make a website an authority, some areas you can rank just by doing that. But in areas like San Antonio, where it's really competitive, you're going to also have to make yourself trustworthy. And how you do that is you get more websites linking to you than your competitors, because that's in a way Google's eyes, that's the, that website vouching for you. But they want to see relevant links. So they want to see like other plumbing companies linking to you. That, they would, that would give you a lot more power than like if Pizza Hut was linking to you, because you're not a pizza company. And so the tool I use to check this out is called Ahrefs. Costs about a thousand bucks a month, but it gives you some really valuable data on what's going on in the back end of websites. If you see right here, willsplumbing.com, you guys have been around for quite a long time. You've been climbing steadily. You're currently sitting at 45 websites linking to you, which is a great spot to be. There's tons of plumbers out there in the San Antonio area who have no website whatsoever, let alone a website with links. So great start. If you do want to overtake AA plumbing, you're going to have to get about, a, they have 172. I'd recommend getting about 200. The best way to do this is to copy them. Because if it ranks for them, it'll rank for you too. They have 172 and you just go down and you take all these links from them. You go to this website, so either click contact us, try to get a link yourself, or you can sometimes you can create an account and it says like join as a pro or become a pro or something like that. Like Ream, you join as one of those contractors that uh, supplies Ream products and that would be a really good one. But here's the big win. If you end up beating these guys in content and you end up beating these guys in backlinks, uh, you take their traffic and that's a lot of free traffic for you. Could imagine how much it would cost to get 1.3 thousand people looking at your website through Angel's List, that would cost you a small fortune, right? This is uh, for free. That's what they're doing. They're doing it the right way. Um, also, make sure that these are good links. You're, you have a lot of links on here, but they're not the best. You want to have this URL ratio, which is the, the, what's it called? The power of your page and your domain ratio as close to one to one as possible. So that this is your whole website. This is just your page. You see how these guys are right on one to one. You want to have that too, okay? The last thing I'm going to talk to you about is when somebody types in plumbing San Antonio and they're ready to buy, they're going to call the first plumber that shows up that seems trustworthy. And you're going to want to be that plumber because those are the easiest customers to close. Now, people skip these ads all the time. It could be from bad experiences. They just have ad blockers, whatever it may be. So where you want to rank yourself is the Google My Business section, or local map pack section. To get here, it requires having more citations than your competitors, which is anywhere where your name, your address, and your phone number are listed in different directories across the web, such as like Yelp, Yext, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Facebook, Angie's List, Home Advisor. These are all the most common ones. The best strategy here is to figure out what directories your competitors are listed in. Go list yourself in those exact same directories, but then add a bunch more on top. 
So like a blue frog here, if they're listed in 200 directories, I would say to put yourself in like 300, if not 400, right? That's all I've got for you, Sam. I hope you found this really informative. As a really quick recap, to make your website more of an authority, you're going to want to have about 1,500 to 2,000 words on this front page. You're also going to want to make sure your images are saved as keywords, and you're going to want to have exact match keywords within your text. Um, you're also going to want to add some more links. So I would recommend getting at least another 160 to 170 to completely dominate these guys. Just make sure they're relevant links. They have to do with like San Antonio. They have to do with plumbing, something like that. And then also I'd go put your name, address, and phone number in more directories in your competitors. Just make sure that it's spelled the exact same way across the internet so it's all considered relevant to each other. Uh, Sam, if you want to take this free information and apply it yourself, please do. This is completely free education. I'm trying to help as many people as I can. Just please send me back some feedback as a response to this email and let me know if you thought this was valuable information. If you do want me to help you take care of this stuff um, and you want to just continue running your business and let me handle your marketing needs, you can always shoot us an uh, email back and ask for some more information or give us a call. Our phone number is 214-441-6737. Either way, Sam, I do look forward to hearing back from you, and I really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to watch this video. Hope you have a great day.